have the same right to enroll in school and to receive an appropriate education that all children have in the United States. Concerns about migrant children in Massachusetts attending school. New changes coming to the shelter system will limit stays at certain overflow shelters to just five days. Even before this most recent state policy change, we saw children in some districts being blocked from enrolling in school. Under federal law, children, including those who are homeless, have a right to enroll in local school districts. With a five-day cap at some shelters, education advocates worry about children missing school. The McKinney-Vento Act is really intended to ensure some stability for students who are unhoused. And I think that this new po state policy absolutely, you know, puts a barrier. Norfolk is one of the communities where the state opened an overflow shelter in the former correctional center. The local and regional school district was preparing to enroll additional students in the coming school year, but the new changes mean far fewer, if any, will enroll. Most people staying there with children will not enroll their kids in our schools if they're just going to be there for five days. But if they were to, you know, during that five day stay, we, of course, under the McKinney Vento um, Act would. McKinney Vento is the name of the federal law. Families can enroll in the district where if they intend to stay in that district where they live. Districts cannot deny enrollment because those students may be in temporary shelters. Live in Chelsea, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.